Hi, my name is Stephanie Towery, and I'm the Copyright Officer here at University Libraries, Texas State University. I'm going to show you a little bit about some of the copyright features in Canvas that you should be aware of. Um, in this video, we're just going to talk about the copyright um, acknowledgments that you make when you ask um, to begin a course or project, when you, when you um, request course authorization. So, um, for academic courses and for new project courses, um, it's roughly the same. I only have access to new project courses. So I'm going to show you um, what the appropriate use statement and the Copyright Teach Act Fair Use Digital Millennium Texas State Policies, what that means. You're going to have to agree to the appropriate use statement and copyright policies above. So we're just going to look at them and I'm going to explain them a bit. Um, Basically, this is going to have you agree to comply with the copyright protections and licensing terms applicable to all works that are in your account. So that means that you are acknowledging that you're aware that you may not own the copyright in the works that you're uploading and you agree to abide by any kind of licensing um, that those um, materials are subject to. Um, it does say that I further affirm that I am solely responsible for compliance with the copyright protections and licensing um, regardless of the source. Now this pretty much puts it on you as a faculty member or a staff member um, that you're responsible for copyright protection. You, No one's going through and um, uh, just because I'm the copyright officer, I'm not policing you, and really no one is going to come through and audit that, so you're going to need to make sure that you're complying. This Copyright Teach Act Fair Use to Li Digital Millennium and Texas State Policies, that's going to tell you a little bit about copyright. So this means that, <laughs> I'm just going to read it, Copyright law generally prohibits the use of a complete body of work for online distribution without express written permission from the copyright owner. This is um, means that you're going to have to have permission or licensing if you are uploading, say, a complete movie or um, song. There are exceptions to that, and you don't always have to have written permission. So if you have questions about that, I encourage you to reach out to me. Um, it does say here that you are likely to be infringing, um, and uh, that's a good statement. We don't really know. There are some exceptions. University policy holds that the university is not responsible for copyright infringements by members of its faculty, staff, and administrations, and they're the responsibility of the individual infringer. That's true, but um, because you are an employee of the university, the university is ultimately responsible. Um, if you are unsure if your use of work is a fair use under copyright law, you should um, remove the work and contact me and I can help you assess that fair, whether or not your use is fair or whether it fits under another exception such as the TEACH Act. I do have policies um, and uh, rules um, available here on my website and um, I encourage you just to contact me um, directly. So once you agree to that, it's going to make you agree to that before you apply to create a project course. So I'm going to say my name. Hopefully this is asking for my name. I think it's probably asking for the project name. So I'm going to put copyright training. Um, training on copyright issues. And it's letting me create the course. Awesome. So now I can go to the project course and I can create my whole course. This is awesome. Um, initially, I didn't think it would be this easy to create a project course, but it is. So I'm going to show you some other copyright features that happen within Con uh, Canvas, um, but I'm going to do that on a different video. So if you need to contact me, please contact copyright office at txstate.edu. Thanks.